Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this last Friday, the 14th of Feb. We're looking at the uh, Dow up 65 at 38,338. Um, when you think of what happened yesterday, this is really not that great. Uh, but most importantly, uh, I did have a high trin gauge reading, Chapman Wave trin gauge reading. This is Richard Arms trin gauge, but I just used particular two particular numbers on it. And it said that the, the S&P futures should have a rally within, I used to say two days. I'm, I'm, I'm now changing that after all these decades to say it's within one Within one day, there should that's overnight and into the next day, there should be a rally in the S&P futures, which should help the general market. We've already seen that. So what's really important about this is that the high of 38,927 um, took out with the slide yesterday. It took out essentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve almost 13 sessions in one. So the question, the statement I made for subscribers to my opening call this morning was, um, was that it? Basically a three in one consolidation in one session, a one off. And then I went on to say, if the semiconductors hold well, then yes, a good chunk has been achieved for now. And that's just for this very moment. Um, those round numbers, they keep appearing. And to me, this is something that I cannot ignore. I've never ignored it before. I don't see why I should. And now that the numbers are even greater than ever. I don't see why I should ignore it now. They are telling me that people who are going in and going out are so determined to, to do it right now that they have got the, that's when you see the round numbers. And that just says to me there's a degree of hysteria. It isn't well thought out. It's not a plan that was, uh, it, it was mitigated by the vicissitude of the market. And therefore, you've got to take it very seriously, <clears throat> as if to say, what happens to someone who bought? Um, well, in this particular case, they could be looking just great. Let's go to ARM, which is a, a stock I focused on for quite some time. Arm Holdings, PLC, and semis, I believe they do licensing. They're in a sweet spot that is they, in one, in about seven sessions, they've gone from the 70s to a high of 164.00, a round number high. And um, that's really interesting. Why? Because they tumbled within two days, yesterday had a low in the 119s. I mean, that 50 something points, that's a big, that's a big decline. And now they're up 13 at 133.34. So whoever sold at 164.00, what do you think they're doing to, today and yesterday? They got their hands off the steering wheel, patting themselves on the back, looks great. What about the people who, who bought it at 164.00? I should have done that. Oh, I didn't think of it. I should have followed the ticks. I would have had the, I would have had the exact volume. Uh, I suppose I could go back and do it. I don't want to do it right now. Um, and they're looking at. They paid 164 yesterday. It was a day later. It's down to 118, and right now it's at 133. Well, that could, in fact, it's a peak E. It could go higher, and it's a leg E in the weekly chart. It's only a leg A. I believe it's an A. Let me just move this messy stuff around here. Uh, no, it's a, is that an A or a B? Let me just double check. Yeah, it's a, it's a leg A in the monthly chart. And that just says looking out over the period of 2024, going into 2025, this should still get on a monthly basis should still get a peak A. We haven't made a peak yet. You have to wait a whole month with a candle, a whole new candle with a lower high to be able to call it a peak. And then it should go to a, a peak B, higher, 
and then a higher PC, and then at least a PD. So for 2024, this is looking great. On a short-term basis, it's a little bit toppy. Well, that's had a pretty good consolidation when you're looking at it visually, not the, not the weekly, but the daily. All right, enough of that. Let's get to our numbers. Uh, did, wait a minute. I did this for the update. Did I do it now? Uh, I'll just do it. Let's just do it real quickly. The Dow right now is up um, $48, not acting all that well at 38312 I should mention for subscribers here. Uh, we are short on a short-term trading position. We've still got our call longs from way back. Um, so short-term there. We've got the S&P doing not too badly today. The S&P is actually trading up um, 26 points. Well, after the drubbing it took yesterday, this is not great, but it's certainly better than going because that would have been a Chapman Wave uh, Roman candle, very small one yesterday. So at any point today, if this... S&P was trading at uh, for 60 minutes or more uh, below 49.44. It's way up. It's at 49.80 right now. Uh, that's going to say you're going to test yesterday's low. But in the meantime, it's holding pretty nicely. I, I should mention we are we have a, a short position. Uh, looking at the uh, IWM, the Russell 2000, trading up 2.63 at 197.20s. Um, it did go to a peak C, but that peak C was under that peak D, so they could fail right here. Uh, the stochastic's only a 73%. The MACD is positive, but barely. Nine print is over the 14. So this is a work in progress right now. What happens next? I think I think it's just trapped in a rectangle formation. Looking at the, um, I wanted to go to. I said I'd go to the semiconductors up uh, three, up four dollars at 203.30. Um, all-time high, 204.20. I need to just double-check here. Um, 207.12. I knew I had forgotten to update that. 207.12. So that was a pretty big pullback, uh, giving back three sessions. And now it's going right back up again. So th until the semis are done, there is going to be internal strength, and I would not ignore that internal strength. Uh, within that context, what I am looking at here is uh, I want to look at NVIDIA. In NVIDIA, there we go. Oops, don't type it there. Type it here. NVIDIA. NVIDIA. So it had a bunch of round numbers. It was 746.11 high three sessions ago. It had a 726 high and a 704 low, I believe. And let me just double check that for yesterday. I mean, these round numbers are just amazing. 734.50 was the high. It opened at 704.00. And what happened? Uh, 726. Oh, that was the day before. It opened the day before at 726. Let's go to these round numbers. No round numbers yet today. Um, it went 7.30.06, <laughs> six cents higher for the uh, the low of the day. It did open at 7.32.02, and it's trading right now at 7.38.34. You can see this, the, the internal strength of the semiconductors. Uh, we did not, we wanted to get a short position yesterday. We, it had to be under certain conditions. Those conditions were not met. And um, if they were met, it would have been good. If they weren't met, fine. We're out of it. We didn't go into that. I'll be right back. I just as we as we get into the break, I just wanted to show you gold. Our gold is down eight. It's gone below the left side low of the port to correct angle. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's up 55. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So I was going to get to this next, but um, uh, I'm typing it in here. I haven't quite finished it, so I'll do it right now. This is a Bitcoin. Bitcoin's up $1.97. This is Bitcoin Investment Trust. At 46.07, it's just popped, uh, gapped up to a leg D in the daily, a leg F in the weekly, and a leg C in the monthly. I, I had a question, could I do CLSK? CLSK, I have never actually, whoops, CLSK, type it over there. So I, I, I was just mentioned, I kind of like what I'm seeing in the market right now, and that's what I said, was that kind of a one-day thing? And now we have to have a kind of some kind of a consolidation. The reason why I said to subscribers, we're going to be uh, adding to a position that we've already had before. We want to add to that, get, take the opportunity of that slide to the downside. Um, no other shorts that the ones we've got, and even there, there's been tightened up quite a bit. So CLSK is uh, CLSK is called. Uh, Clean, Clean Park Inc. Is that what we were looking at? Clean Park Inc. Uh, is that um, is that a huh? Is that a um, Bitcoin type stock? Uh, I'll have to see. I'm gonna check the name. C D right here. Talking about C's. There's your C and there's your D. Then it pulls back and has a brand new. Buy mode right there. A, B, it's in leg C. Yep, C in the weekly chart as well. Looking very strong. Did gap up today. So be a little careful, although it's in something that is on fire uh, in the Bitcoin area. If this is, then you've got to consider that a gap doesn't mean anything because it could gap up the following session. Those gaps, right, and not this one in particular, the, the one from uh, about a week ago, that might not be filled in the 11s, but the one today 
uh, with a low of 17.41, certainly that could be filled and you've got yourself a doji candle. So let me just check to see if uh, there was a, an answer to that. CL, oh, let me just see. Um, no. So I can't, I, I'll do that right now. It's really important to know exactly what we've got. CLSK stock, CL, CLSK stock is question mark. Uh, clean spark, yeah, it's called clean spark. So they must do something in the Bitcoin using solar solar what solutions? Oh, okay, all right. So that's kind of the the, the 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 backbone of the mechanism. Clean spark. Okay. So with that said, clean spark Inc. Um, let's see what it's doing. Yeah, I like it very much. It's in its second buy mode in the last uh, uh, couple of months. And it's in leg D. It's a little choppy, but that stochastic is flat. That's great. MACD is overextended, but that is still very strong. It means it could pull back, but that green line, that's the fast moving average, hasn't turned down yet. So that's very positive. With a stochastic at 94.34% in the daily, that's great. The weekly is only 62.48. So there's a divergence between the technicals trying to play catch up. But I like this very much. And I would just say to you, you're in the long term, watch the 1430 to 1380 level going into the end of next week, by Friday of next week. Let's see if that holds, if there's any pullback whatsoever. Okay, so within that context, uh, yes. Um, okay, so now let me go back to what we were looking at. I wanted to show you, so I showed you gold <clears throat> gone underneath, look deep underneath the support level right here. That was the support of the 13th, oh, a month ago, four, two months ago, on the 13th of January, no, December, oh, it's even more, um, at 2.2006.7, today's lows in the 1996 area. So yeah, that's not good. And if you're looking at silver, and the more I thought about it last night, I thought, what, what, what's going on with gold? We've not liked it for quite a while, uh, quite a while, actually. Uh, what's going on? And my, my, my thinking here is that Bitcoin <clears throat> as a, let's see, that whole Middle East thing just didn't work. It worked for a couple of weeks, and then that was it. And the Middle East, had to, you have to consider that gold is the go-to place when there's really conflagration with uh, an oil crisis and a, either a banking crisis, an oil crisis, Mideast crisis, money flows to gold. And they're not seeing that right now. So that's out the question in terms of an insurance. But in terms of the traders, and you can see by, by Hood, I've been talking about this for some time, that I think Hood is going to do really well uh, because Robin Hood, um, these, probably these are the players that would go into something that moves very quickly, like gold. But instead, maybe now they, they're going back into the, um, <laughs> where they got burnt before, into the Bitcoin. And that's what you can see right here. So Robin Hood is up. I, I would love to say we're long because I kept saying we're going to get long and we didn't in the, in the 10 and 11 area. Here it is at 13.28. The monthly chart says, hey, you've got plenty of time, Mr. The all-time high was an 85 round number high. Uh, these round numbers are unbelievable. Uh, August of 2021. All right. So in the meantime, that's doing well. So let me go back to um, gold. And I'm just saying to you, until it becomes like a fashionable thing to be trading and talking about gold, it's just kind of not there, and that's all I'm looking at. It's not, I mean, look, the weekly chart, it's not bad. It's come down sharply, but it's, it's in the middle of its training range. But look at silver. <clears throat> silver um, has really struggled, and it is trying to establish a base in the 22 area. I'll have to watch this closely, because if silver's able in the next week, as a separate entity almost to gold, if silver's able to get to the... Uh, 2320 area, it's a 2227, that's a whole point higher over the next, I'd even give it time, give it, let us have higher highs and higher lows instead of taking out 2150, which will be really important support. If it takes that out, that's a problem. So let it do it slowly, but it's not doing it right now. High grade copper, we're looking at it 
uh, not acting very well. It's down again today, 3.70, down 0.002. And now I wanted to go to bonds. Now, this is going to be so important because you remember, I like to talk about the, the, this in relation to when I'm looking at markets and I talk about uh, I end here. I talk about dark news. So this is my call, Chapman Wave Dark News Index. I'm now calling it just the index, using the Dow Daily Chart. And I said, you see this rectangle? That's just telling me that there are a couple of things in the um, in the market, the overall economic marketplace, that says you've got higher bonds, you've got higher dollar, uh, you've got inflation that doesn't seem to be tamed yet. So I'm putting that into the category but it isn't yet, and this was during the day, this is when I spoke to you yesterday, um, it went even below the trend line that I drew, uh, and that just says there could be kind of choppy action for a little while, and that's what I'm looking at. But in the meantime, I like the fact that within this context, there are slides that give you opportunity. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Larry mentioned, oh, he lost his dear friend Jim. Oh, Larry. We commiserate with you. Um, wow. Jim Twentyman. Uh, right. Well, I, you know, we are visitors, as my mother-in-law used to say. We're just visitors. Um, what can I say? So sorry. Uh, Dow's up 139, S&P's up 37. Currencies, like. commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Well, folks, we're back. Just want to show you the E-mini. I, I, I had a meeting, so I only got back here just a few minutes before my show. 
I just pulled in this look. So this one minute chart on E-mini is at peak F right now. It's pulling back at 5,005.75. This is still a leg C. I've got in the five minute chart and a leg D in the uh, 10 minute. I, when I um, when I left for the meeting at about nine ish, I thought, well, let's see what happens here. Um, because the green nine period moving average in the 10 minute chart was still very positive. And then just momentarily at about just uh, nine, must be 9.35 or so, it slipped negative, but it didn't take out the left side low. So finally we've got our leg D in the uh, uh, S&P 10 minute chart. Fascinating. So um, let's just go back to this. So a couple of questions that came in I wanted to get to. Uh, let me so this, these are the bonds. So the bonds are going higher. This is the TBT. You'll see it right here. I'm telling you, I typed it in the wrong place again. There it is. Okay, TBT. TBT. That's the inverse. The um, Oh, I'm typing it. I am typing it correctly, but I always forget when I go to the yellow chart, i got to get back into this. There you are. TBT is in a leg. I don't know if this is an E or brand new B. Let's call it E slash B. My suspicion is because of the weekly chart, this is actually a daily a leg B and a weekly leg B. That means yields are going higher. So, you know, what's fascinating about the market, for those of us who have followed the market, not for years, uh, not for decades, but for decades and decades, um, is that the at a, and that's why I have this dark news index, because the market at certain points um, – it ignores the exact same news that yesterday it was concerned about. It just does that. That's number one. Number two is if there is anything going on that really impacts the market, um, it gets used to it quite quickly. And then you've got to look for something else. So bad news, and this is really bad news, doesn't last for very long. The buoyancy of the market is quite, uh, quite amazing. So in this particular instance, if I go to the TNX.X, that is the 10-year treasury a note. This is it. Leg B, yes, very sharp move up. Could that be a D? I'm not going to ignore that. So we've got a buy signal that went to a buy mode. Uh, is that complete with the peak C1, C2? And this is a brand new peak A right here. And in the Chapman methodology, this is where it becomes a little difficult deciding. You don't have to do anything about it just yet. Is this a D, which it says, you've got to be a little careful, or is it a B, which says, are you kidding? Every single dip you want to be buying. Well, the stochastic at 96 is really strong and holding flat. That's a positive. The MACD is strong. That's a positive. The 9 is way over the 14, and it only went fractionally to pink for a day or so um, on that dip early in February, <clears throat> and now it's back again early in the beginning of February. So I'm calling this a B for now. I got a DB, but I'm... I'm I, I had years ago said, should I put what I'm favoring first? In other words, B slash D. I just want to keep it in sequence. C goes to D, and that's the way it is for, for right now. I don't have to do anything. Well, first of all, we don't have we don't have bonds in our portfolio. I always follow them, but we don't necessarily always have them. Um, it just means that I need to notate this. The rent of strength is improving. It's not great, but it's improving. So that just says... The yields seem to be wanting to go even higher. Okay. With that said, I think I've covered almost everything I wanted to do. So look at this. Remember, I had a call the other day about GT. That was the tire company. I said, you know, if you've done your homework and you want to get in for the long term, you could just have a little nibble here. But I don't really like the chart. Something's not quite right with it. Um, and look at this. This is GT, a, a Goodyear tire tootling along in the 13s three days ago. It's now at 11.49. It had news. It gapped down. And I, I have to tell you, I didn't see it in the chart uh, other than peak A, peak B, peak C in the weekly chart. But uh, to tell you the truth, falling under the 200-period moving average in the weekly chart, um, the monthly chart wasn't that bad, but it was said sideways at best. I have to tell you, now, looking at GT, if you've done your homework and you had that nibble, the decision is, what should I do now? Because you remember we said, you, if you haven't got the tight, I, still, I said you should still have a fairly tight stuff. 
But I'm looking at this and I'm saying, is this now where you should start making your decision on GT? Either just out, you're not interested at all, or is this where you want to start finding some kind of support? Why? Well, if you're looking at Toyota Motors, Toyota Motors went to a new all-time high yesterday. It's trading now 225.75 down 575. But look what happened yesterday when the general market was just abysmal. Uh, it went to 232.56. Remember the, the 202 round number that I was talking about the, uh, uh, two or three weeks ago? Uh, that lasted just a little bit. It just it spiraled right out of it and went above it. So I just, I'm just i pointing this out because it's automobiles, like General Motors, holding towards the higher part of, of the um, three, four-month range. It went to a leg. It hasn't quite gone to a leg D in the weekly, but it's on the 200p moving average. Look at uh, HMC, which is Honda Motor Company. Uh, HMC up towards the higher part of its range. Uh, D, brand new, peak ABC, yep, look at this, right there, it had 35, it went to 35.18 yesterday, it's trading down a little bit to that, down 32, 33.74, and uh, the weekly chart is still pretty good. So that means that, yes, money is going into automobiles, uh, very expensive, I mean, the average cost is over 48,000 now, that's that's quite a bit of money. Uh, what, the one I'm missing is Ford. Uh, Ford is acting quite nicely. It went to peak A, B, C, D. Let me just show you right here. Uh, above the 200 period moving average gap and is holding the gap. So this is your A. That's your B. Remember, find the lowest low and count each successively high peak, uppercase on the way up. D is your objective for a buy mode. Then other things can happen. So we can recycle, get a whole brand new buy mode, whatever it is. So that's holding very nicely. So this is where I want you to do your homework May, I'm, I don't know if I'll have time to do it. I'll try to do a little homework to see whether or not we're looking at, we're after the bad news, maybe all the bad news is out, whether on chart pattern alone. I'm not going to do the homework in terms of looking at tire supply and all that stuff. I'm looking at the chart and saying, will it hold 11 or will it take it out? And that'll be a real problem um, because that takes it down to the 10s very quickly. Uh, but that was GT. The next thing I want to look at was uh, TGLS. Why did I put that in TGLS last night? Looking at it. Oh, 49.93. Oh, this is called oh, Technoglass Inc. Sound like I've always looked at the name and thought, oh, this is like that glass. What was that glass? You remember? What was it called? What was the symbol? G G L W. Uh, G L was it G L? Is it still around? G L W. Uh, that was that glass. Remember that was the Gorilla Glass or something. Corning Inc. Yeah, so Corning Inc. So I guess the um, the glass, those particular, that, that format of glass is holding quite well. I guess that's the reason why I want to look at, at, at it. And I'll be right back. That's up 127, S&P's up 33. And yes, I will be talking about uh, um, uranium in a moment. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. So the question came in. Oh, right. Uh, yes, I will look at that as well. Um, so uh, you, your NM is the Sprott Uranium Miners ETF uh, trading at uh, 52.30 down uh, up 51 cents. Uh, it did make a peak D in the daily and the technical started to fade. And just yesterday on that slight uh, red candle, the nine period moving average flipped to negative. And it is a peak D in the weekly chart, but it's only a leg C in the monthly. I could call that an E, but I, everything about it thus far says I should call it an egg seed. There's, there's, I, that's just the way it is. So the question is, and I'd say that there's a chance that this is a this is an instrument that could be telling us about something much longer term, uh, more towards months rather than weeks. And the way I'm looking at it, I think there's something going on in uranium that is a positive. The, the number of times over the last two weeks that I've seen all of a sudden it mentioned in whatever it is, either through interviews or through comments in the financial press about suddenly uranium has become the thing to talk about, tells me that you've got to watch out. We've got ourselves a little slide coming. And yes, we've got a slide. But I think the nine period moving over the weekly says that at 52, unless it traded at 47, in the next uh, week or two to give a really sharp downside reaction. I think it's, as far as I'm concerned, um, it's holding really well. So if that was the question, uh, yes, you, you're in M. Uh, yes, we have UEC. It's still holding very nicely. It is pulling back. But look at the, even the daily and nine period moving average thus far is green, but I think it's going to turn pink and we're going to a consolidation. But yeah. This is Uranium Energy Corporation trading at 758 down six cents. But I, the URNM is telling me that so far it's still very appealing to buyers based on the nine period moving average in the weekly chart. Question came in Could I look at MSOS? I discussed this the other day. This is an advisor shares pure US cannabis sector ETF. Uh, trading at 8.43, down 15 cents. Uh, just as we're talking, this nine period moving average has turned pink. The day's young, anything can happen. But so far, it's the first time it's turned pink since it rallied back in late December from the 6.50 area and went all the way into the uh, 10.50 or so range. 
So, yes. Uh, the question is, can you please discuss an entry? Well, I want you to see how it, because it held quite nicely yesterday, I want you to see how it held today. We have MJ. Um, and MJ, we asked the long, uh, we took a little bit of profits. I'm trying as best as possible to use this Chapel Wave inside track propellant zone as some kind of a liftoff area. Um, it's acting a little bit, you know, even look percentage wise, is down minus 2% today. This is the alternative harvest ETF cannabis sector. But if you go to MSOS, so this is down 2%, that's down. 1.6. So it seems to have a slightly better action. And I'm not sure about the volume. I should have checked that out. I was worried about volume recently. And then I saw that it actually has pretty good volume, MJ. It's trading right now. Yeah, it has good volume. Uh, in fact, it's double MJ. And the price is a little bit more than double MJ. So the question is on M MSOS. Where would you? This is if you're looking longer term. I think for the because of the politics that's involved now, um, and uh, the administration, I think is going to go to every length to try to uh, to to build a portfolio of a wide range of audience uh, that is potential voters. And therefore, there's this area. So if there's something that can be done in the whole financial aspect that really helps the cannabis sector, uh, you know, this is this is really a part of banking issue as well. I think it will help them. I'm trying to get get us through this, saying, I I believe MSOS trading at uh, 849, it could drop to 550. But I think over a period of 2024, the whole year. I wouldn't be surprised if this is up in the 12s and 13s at some point. So that's based not on fact. It's on based on presumptions. So all I'm going to say to you, if you want to get in, I would do this. I would just start a small position in eight, at 852. I think you might be in lower down. But if you're looking at a brand new position, only looking out longer term, I would have a small position at 852. I'd split that into two. One part of it, I'd have a stop probably at about eight twenty, maybe eight dollars even. Give it a little bit of room. And the other one, I'd say, what will I do if it hits seven fifty? That's the two hundred period moving average. But I do think getting your foot in the door is not a bad thing. That's the only way I'm looking at it. Foot in the door. I'm not saying this is something that once was up in the fifties. It's going there. I'm saying, huh, the first big deal would be to get to 11 or to break to 1050 so it can make a new uh, multi-year high uh, or a yearly high. And it hasn't done that. So we'll just step in very just a small position. I know you like to take uh, longer. Uh, oh, I saw my loss and added a small year at 840. All right, we're on the same page. Um, and then a question came in, if I could look at Blink, BLK, BLK, BLNK, this is in the... <clears throat> This is Blink is um, uh, Blink is a charging company. Ages ago, we looked at it. We looked at it. I don't think we ever bought it. I just something is weird about it. It does everything and looks fantastic, and then kaplop. Even if it has good news, something goes wrong and it just makes lower lows and lower highs. Look at that monthly chart. Look at the weekly chart. But now, for the first time, it's trying to find a base. So with that said, trading at uh, BLNK, trading at three dollars and thirty-one cents. Wow, up twenty-three percent, up sixty-three cents. You see, that's this is the way it works. So if you aren't in it already, it's real tough to get into something that has a knack of giving back very quickly. It almost looks like a biotech. Doesn't this look like a biotech? Look at that weekly. Now, what I'm going to say to so the question is, um, fits your EV battery, etc. Group as we discussed as your uh, last live workshop. Today, earnings uh, pre-release, very solid forecast for EBITDA, 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 I always say, EBITDA, I always read it, I never say it, it's one of the first times I've ever said it, this is earnings before, it, this, is, this is part of your, the vernacular for your bookkeeping, um, a profits by end of 2024, in my opinion, this is a solid entry level long term. So, that, so I'm going to say... <clears throat> Because you look at long term and you are able 
to use options and all sorts of things to, uh, to, to at least ameliorate those sudden declines, I'm going to say, yeah, it's a different category altogether of personnel. For you, I'm going to say the way it looks right now, the 350s looks like a target on the upside. Today's high is 338. And how it handles a pullback, not the rallies, how it handles three of support to 290 is absolutely imperative. If it takes out 290 over the next week, that's a real problem. Okay, that's number one. Number two is before we go to the break, I'm going to say for anyone who's interested in this whole category, battery, EVs, etc., I would nibble. Um, not 332 right now. If you have patience, I prefer a 310 and give it, if you want to give it a stop, I'd have to give it almost a, a, 30, a 30 cent stop. But I would nibble at this in the next week. I don't know if I, I I'm going to say I would wait though to start your position. Are Down you is ready up. to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors everything in the universe is governed by the fibonacci sequence this mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market to stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of sign up for the fibonacci 24 7 newsletter at tfnn.com when you subscribe you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader larry pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to and you can trust larry's analysis after all he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I just do a little summation. Now, someone said, could you just sum up what you're saying? What I'm saying is that yesterday's decline, certainly in the Dow, and certainly in the S&P, not the SMHs, the semiconductors, was something that we've been anticipating would happen. Um, we are short those instruments. That's not the point. The point is that I think it was this, it was a really important shot across the bow, number one, just a warning. Look, I wanted to show you something I wrote down. Look at Rob, Rob Lux. Um, it made this perfect double top. It's amazing how these double tops go within pennies. But that's not the issue. I thought, ah, hey, why not just look at uh, salesforce.com because I thought I wrote CRM, but I didn't. Well, salesforce.com hit a high of 295 the other day, 295.24. It had two round numbers yesterday, and today, what does it do? It opens at 285. It's at 287, up 6.31. Something's going on with these round numbers. Every, almost every stock we're looking at has a round number over the last couple of days. What is with that? It's the stereo missing out. Round numbers. That's what I think. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Check out my opening call, daily newsletter, and looking forward to the show. Have a wonderful night. See you.